Right peeps, we're out today, we're at the Erskine Bridge and again, today it's all about Marley. So she's barking here, she's giving off, Marley, Marley, stop pulling. She's pulling because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six dogs over, it must be a dog walker. <laughs> she's raging because they're barking at her. What is it? So we're actually just right under the Erskine Bridge here. That's what connects this side of Glasgow to the other side, or Western Bartonshire to Renfrew Shire. Uh, there's the, which used to be the, oh, what hotel was that again? I got married in it, I should know. Flip's sake. I've lost the name. Look, in the comments, let me know what the hell that was called. It's now called the Mutu Glasgow River Hotel. I can't remember what the hell it was called before. Sign of age. This is quite cool because this was a, an old bunker thing that was used back in the war. It's been there ever since. You can actually go up into it. Marley, up here. Up in. Jump up. Up in. Up here. Up in. Hey, go up in. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have to get up in. Right, so there was German bombers, boats coming up the river. And it said that the guys used to sit in here and shoot at them. So you can kind of visualise being... Down in and coming up, man. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. The bridge wouldn't have been there in them days. Um, so, it's quite cool, we think. Might be a good place to DJ. DJ booth. This is a nice wee morning, I think it's to tip 19 degrees today. Be a tiny chill in the air, but 14 degrees at a minute. Beautiful. Of course she always, look at that, always does a poo at the start of her walk. Hey Cheeky, stop it now. Hey, come and say hello. Come and say, here, come and say hello to the people of YouTube. Yay, show them you're a happy dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Aye, very good. Stop it. Being cheeky. So we'll do this wee route in the mornings. It's been a wee while since I did this one, because I used to do a different one. It was on on down the, the way, see, see we're kind of, see where that big orange thing started down about there, and head it all the way down to where you can kind of see there's a red and white boat away in the distance. That's Bowling Harbour. So we used to do that walk. I'm going around circles here, because her. Yeah, come on this way. Right, we're going out now, we'll go back up into the path. That, so this is the River Clyde, if you don't know. That's River Clyde, that's Dumbarton Castle away in the distance, and that's Glasgow in that way. So from the city centre we're about, in the car, if we had a, a straight run at it without traffic lights, you'd be about 15 minutes, um, 20 max, um, and then the other way to Loch Lomond's about the same, 15 minutes. So we're actually at a good central location. Um, this will be fun. Right, so we're going back this way. Hey, stop pulling. Is that it today? Look at you! This wee river's low then, eh? Not much happening. Easy. Hey, hey! So, that's some size of bridge. Here, wait up. Oh. There we go. Oh, come in and out the other side. Can you believe that? Oh, hey! Stop pulling! Let me see this. It's the poo bin. So this is all just kind of overgrowth and kind of, I don't know if it's swampy or whatever, but it's full of wildlife. That's the Kilpatrick Hills. Some people refer to them as the old Kilpatrick Hills. Is that old Kilpatrick? But oh, that's a good hike right up that. We'll do that someday with Marley. We'll get it into our playlist. These things here used to have big kind of birds on them, but as you can see, they're long gone. You bench to sit at. Here, come on here, we'll sit down. Oh, see if that there was all cut back. You'd be able to sit and look over the, the water. Hey, you're being very cheeky today. What's this all about? Hey, why are you being cheeky? Come on, let's go. 
She's all action today, side to side. Snapping, snapping. Bumblebees. Love to hear all the wee birds. There's a wee bird up there, you see it? Sitting at the top of the tree. That is a wee, a wee tit, some sort of wee tit. Get a blue, maybe it's a blue tit. No? I'm not, I'm not like 100% on birds. I love that, see that wee bird, that is the nicest sound of me bird. They come up my house and they just sit in the trees and they sing their songs, wee tiny things. And then the big birds come along and bully them. Okay. That's the way of the world. Not just human people. Wildlife. I love walking this. Yesterday it was raining and then today you've got this. I can have one. What is it? What have you found? Frog. I've seen frogs jumping across this path before. So you can see there in the distance that is the actual road that takes you up. I mean, it's a, it's a pathway. It's not for cars. You can get cars up it, emergency vehicles and stuff go up it. Um, and at the top of that, there's a, a lock called Loch Humphrey, and it's not a massive lock. It's just more a big bit of water. But a loch called, this is named the Loch Humphrey. And this is called the Saltings. I'll let you see it. The Saltings, life on the edge. There's a wee map of what it looks like. And it's talking about when a high tide flooding up the river, mouth met rain, swollen water rushing down it. The river Clyde would overflow here, creating marshland known as the Saltings. You can still see some of the original swampy marsh, uh, salt marsh beyond the bank in front of you. When spoil from building the Erskine Bridge was dumped here in the 1970s, it raised the level of the soil. Ah, right, okay, so the soil came up. This may have helped establish some of the more unusual plants we can find in the saltings today. So you've got wee lizards, hedgehogs, brambles, berries, Frogs, everything going on. There you go. Let's have it. Anybody know what that kind of tree is? Well, Marley, how's your day going, pal? As you can see, she's just busy. She's just kind of come out of heat. So, um, she's still a wee bit swollen down below. As it happens. It's very quiet with dogs today. What's this? Come on here. There's something digging down in there. Seen a wee fox, a wee baby fox actually. Just earlier when we were in the car. Well, Marley, the brown cocker spaniel. A field spaniel, it's a working spaniel. Working Cocker Spaniel. Okay, so let's name what Marley is. Marley is uh, known as a Working Cocker Spaniel, a Field Spaniel. She was registered as a Field Spaniel. Um, or also uh, Scottish Cocker Spaniel. That's the, th the ones that the vets told us what she's known as. So I'll just roll with that. To, our, to us, she's just Marley. So we get a wee walk to wee bit now. You can see how far we're away from the bridge. This kind of loops up now. The good thing is you'll see up ahead of us here. Come on you silly. You'll see up ahead of us. You can go left, it takes you to bowling. And they've got that all opened up now, which is class. Um, or you can go right. Come here. Come on. You can go right and it takes you back up around the Sultans. Here you come, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be cheeky. You're being cheeky. Sorry about that. Hey, oh, I all nice now, eh? 
Come on, Pete, come on. Come on, this way. Oh, they don't like these on. Come on, over you come. Come on! Over you come. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, Marley. A bit of a difference from yesterday morning, know, isn't it? I know. We could do with plenty of this, couldn't we? A couple of days, even. I know. I would take it. <laughs> She's in good form of day. Right, well done. For some reason, that other wee one, I don't know, the other morning gave Marley a rouse, so. Probably Marley's fault. Marley's easy going, to be fair. Very easy going. She heals to the. She's got the rabbit in the garden, as you've probably seen in our previous videos. Um, and Marley heals to the rabbit. She actually goes down and submits. So there you go, there's your road. That takes you right through into bowling. And it's good if you're on the bike, because you can hike right the way through on the bike now. That takes you up to the canal which is the 4th and Clyde Canal, which runs all the way from Bolin, whole way through to Edinburgh, which would be a great cycle someday if anybody ever fancied it. I get a lot of people doing that, a lot of tourists. I'd love to do that, actually. Never done it. It's probably 50 mile. <laughs> probably a good idea to do it and get a hotel or, a, or an apartment and stay through the night, have a wee night out and then back through the next day. It's a good idea. I've got a friend called Ali, I might ask to do that. A friend called Brian, I might ask to do that. Kevin, my cousin, I might ask him to do it. Put it out there in the wee bicycle chat. Anybody fancy doing the Fourth and Clyde, doing a wee night over? Clever. Don't think walking the dog would be too much. So this is her, she's busy. She used to be always very chilled out, but you can see now she's got a wee bit older. She's busy, left to right, left to right, sniffing, doing the odd wee pee. And the good thing here is there's a couple of bins floating about, so there's a bin back there just at that kind of cross, I think. I'm sure that's what it is. We always end up using that one that we used earlier, because that's her way of doing it, an other wee bench. And you can see in here, the, the local schools always come up, bring the kids, and there's like a wee bit of forest around behind there, and they always do wee thing, games. My son and daughter have both came, did the, the Sultans. Just have to watch the longer grass and that there for ticks and all that kind of stuff, there's a butterfly. Or a flutter by, because they just flutter by. So I'm just bambling on, because I like just to walk about and... Talk about stuff like Scottish weather and holidays. Kids will be finishing for school soon. So it's a nice wee walk. I think it's about three kilometres around this. I'll need to measure it again. Oof. And your arm does get heavy holding this. Here, Marley. Let's walk. Woo. Let's fix that. Sorry. There you go. Get the sunglasses on the day. Come on. She does. She's very obedient to my... Could take her off the lead of a wonder, but to be fair, it's, it's just as handy if you're up and around and there's people coming and stuff. You can just... It's only a five metre cord. I didn't used to like these cords, but I bought it one day, says, let's try it. And it just gave her a wee bit more freedom, because she was pulling on the lead, on the wee lead. And uh, I've never got the wee lead out again. Um, again, we don't really, if, if I was out on the roads with the kids, I'm wary that they would be better using the wee lead. Because, you know, that, that could be as easy as her running out in front of a car. So I like to, if I'm out and about, just walking like up our bit, keep her on a close lead. But when she's out here, she's got five metres of running. She doesn't pull now so much because she's got the run of the... As you can see there, she's, she knows to run on a wee bit and come back. And The only bit that she'll pull at is when we get close to the car because she gets a... Her anxiety kicks in. She kind of... Oh, I'm going home. So here's the wee forestry bit. I'll show you just down in there. One down in. One. You can see they've been doing wee kind of camp things and been building wee things over here, I'm assuming. The 
with the kind of wood and stuff you can see, look. What's that, Marnie? What's that? Come on this way. Look, they've been trying to build a wee, a wee den or whatever. It's quite good, see, in the summer, just bring up your kids and have a wee bit of fun. The only thing that annoys me is if people come and they leave rubbish and stuff, it's not, it's not nice. Better just lifting it and taking it to a bin. Keep it nice and tidy and clean for everybody. Come on. Fire. Fire. Wire. It's a lovely big fangamaran. It's called Blue. There's, there's two of them. There's one called Storm, one called Blue. Blue is gorgeous. Honest to goodness. Big piercing blue eyes. I think that's probably why they called it blue. Um, beautiful colour. Uh, like a really smart, bouncing, silvery colour. It's, it's only a... It's probably maybe six months older than her. Big, big lumpy a lad, so he has, but... Oh, he's so good-natured. He's feared of her. You doing another poo? Well, if that's the case, we'll be... She's not. Pee. You leaving your scent, you? It's clever. There's more marshland down in there. It's a wee bit more wet down in that bit, but again, you can take the kids down in. Oh, look, this is wee Chester. Is it Chester? Can't even mind that lovely wee dog. Right, hold on. Ah, that was good. Wee dogs just sniffed about each other, but you do, it's just always have to be careful. Be on guard because uh, you never know when she'd end up being upset or something. She, she hates getting her bit sniffed. Um, but the wee boys were in sniffing about and then the next thing <laughs> they started giving it all that ooh, ooh, I'm going to get you scenario here come on this way you can walk down that way as well but I never bore my backside hey hey come on out of there you dafty it's the river down in there you see it it's just it's very still now but in the winter it'll move more but there was a, a wee boy died actually down that way so, sad. Again, more forestry for the kids to play. And again, that's us approaching back up to the Erskine Bridge again. So, you've now been out for a walk with Marley for the last 18 minutes. Oh, there's this wee boy here. That's the one I was getting mixed up with. Right, come you in. Right, hold on. Stop again. 